this video, I'm going to show you one of the better pressure, what I call pressure releases or blitz beaters in Madden 22 out of the spread. What I wanted to talk about in this video is I wanted to help you guys uh, kind of be equipped with a five out play or a play that where you send five wide receivers on a route that is going to allow you to still be very significantly effective um, even if your opponent blitzes. And I wanted to be able to do this out of the spread because I'm a huge air raid guy and I love two by two spread. Now, if you are new to the channel, I wanna ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. The playbook we're gonna be in today is the Arizona Cardinals playbook. And um, you can actually, I'm gonna talk about um, a concept out of uh, spread that can allow you to pick up almost any pressure in the game. But I also wanna talk about uh, this concept. We're gonna be using curl wheel um, out of this red white slot, probably one of my favorite plays in Madden. Uh, it's been one of my favorite plays for the last couple of years. Now, ideally you wanna be on the left hash mark to run this but you can run it to the right. It really isn't that big of a deal because of how good the spacing from spread truly is. Now, I also wanna let you know that I actually have a full air raid offensive guide. If you wanna get all my guides, they're linked in the Patreon. So if you've not joined the Patreon yet, there'll be a link in the description that you can click on where you can join the Patreon for just $10 a month and it allows you to get access to a ton of content. We've got 15 eBooks over there. I've got a couple more coming out uh, this weekend. We've got pro player breakdowns and we kind of try to update the Patreon a couple times a week with new exclusive content that I don't post here on YouTube. So you're getting tips, eBooks, film studies, all that stuff, private messaging platforms, everything that you need to be successful. So if you want to get better, join the Patreon. There'll be a link in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel if you're trying to find a way to uh, just support me as a creator. Now, what we're going to do with this, in, and really it's you can do this from any formation, okay? You can do this from any formation in the game. Um, but what we're going to do with this is this is a concept that I love um, primarily because it allows me to have a pressure release against man and zone, uh, which I think is super, super important. Now, typically, if you're playing like a Mike Blitz 3, the zone that you're going to get is you're going to get a hard flat, okay? Notice it's a hard flat. Now, if I were to take the tight end and just put him on a drag and I put the running back on a wheel, I want you to watch how this concept kind of plays out. What you're going to do here is snap the ball and he's going to see how he cuts up field in front of the flat route. Did you see what I just saw? He cuts up field in front of the flat route. Okay. So what this allows you to do is even if they're playing hard flats, that wheel is going to cut underneath it. So you see that right there. And then I can just throw it inside pass lead and we're getting about 15 yards real easy, real easy 15 yard play. Now, if you wanted to take this concept a little bit further and you have a tight end apprentice or a, I'm sorry, a slot apprentice or hot route master, what you can do, and this is what makes spread so hard to blitz because of how good this wheel is. You can post the tight end, you can out route Mike Evans and you can wheel the running back. And now they're basically in a lose-lose. There's no way they can stop this concept without manning up the running back. So you just force feed it. And eventually they'll stop blitzing you from zone. Um, let me show you another scenario that they could try to do. Um, and, and again, this is, you know, this is just a scenario they could try to do. So let's say they try to overload you over here and they have a hard flat and a shaded down vertical hook in the middle of the field there. And they're of course their user right in here. I want you to watch what happens with this. So same exact concept. What you're gonna notice here is this vertical hook doesn't really stop it, okay? Now it also doesn't stop the first piece of what I was teaching from a, with a drag. It's actually significantly, significantly, significantly worse if you have a drag on the field. I'll show you what I mean. The, the drag will carry him inside and you can just throw it kind of right in there. Obviously you'd want to secure catch it. And you have to remember too, like if they're going to send pressure, you know, they kind of have to blitz this linebacker. Okay. So if he's out here, it's, it's very unlikely they're going to send pressure anyway, um, which is going to give you more time to hit other stuff. But what I love to do with on the backside of this is just flat Godwin and drag Miller. So I've got a real, it's basically mesh post. Um, but this wheel, um, is just really, really good. And you can secure catch that and kind of force feed it, honestly, right? That's hard flats and shaded down bird hooks. Probably the best zone that you can have to stop this. So what their next strategy is gonna be, I mean, there's one of two strategies. They'll either use it, 
which if they do that, then just hit your backside drag. But if they use it, they have to like literally run at it, which their pressure is not going to be as good. Or they're going to try to man it up. Well, if they man it up, I want you to watch what happens. The guy's all the way on the other side of the field if they try to blitz you. So you don't really have to worry too much. Um, you don't really have to worry too much about man coverage. So again, I'm going to show man coverage. Um, and again, what you're going to see here, I see man, I just throw that outside pass lead, and you see how I can rack catch that upfield, and I'm still hitting them for 20, 15 to 20 yards every time. So you might be thinking, well, that's good, but what if they did this? What if they man this guy up on the tight end and this guy up on the running back? Okay, that's a great adjustment. It really is. One of the best people that are the best players in the world would do this, right? All you're going to do is low ball. Eh, come on. Uh, all you're going to do is low ball and pass it inside. You do need to wait for it to cut. Um, you do need to wait for it to cut. I threw it just a tad early. But when he cuts underneath it and he gets inside leverage, you're going to throw inside. So again, here, and then he cuts inside, low ball. And if you have backfield mismatch, he'll probably never drop that route. So again, let me show you one more time. And obviously I'm not, like I said, these are, I'm telling you right now, like the average Madden player won't do this. It's the best of the best that would know, hey, I need to do that cross man. And then that opens up a lot of other stuff. I mean, you know, let's be real. Like then I could float the back this way and run the same basic concept to the left. So, you know, it, it opens up other things is what I'm trying to get at. But anyways... Let me just show you if they make that adjustment. Click on secure catch, and you see I can throw it inside. As soon as he gets inside leverage, I just low ball it, he's open, okay? So they have to devote a lot of resources to guarding the running back wheel. It's kind of what I wanted to get out of this video, right? So they have to devote a ton of resources uh, to guarding the running back wheel, and what that's gonna mean is maybe something like this. Well, let's go with, uh, you know, maybe man coverage here. Let's go with like a double team. Let's go with a double team, right? Well, now what you're going to be able to do is throw this with an inside pass lead, and now there's nobody in the middle of the field to guard. Okay? So the beauty of this concept is they have to devote so many resources to stopping a running back route that now your curl wheel is wide open. And you can throw, like, you can throw this wheel route early too, by the way. So let's say they're going to play some drop back coverage. Maybe just like a little basic uh, cover three, for example. What you'll see is these zones will drift significantly further back, and I can throw that with a pass lead inside, and you're seeing we're hitting them for 10. 10, over and over and over again. So then that's where you're going to get something like this. You're going to get Tampa 2. They're going to shade down. Now, if you know this is coming, okay, if you know this is coming, my favorite thing to do with this is the out route and the post to the tight end. And the reason why this is such a good concept is because what you'll see here is that vert hook will let this route go. You pass it that outside, and now they're screwed again. you got them every which way you can with one route, okay? Now, what we can also do is let's say we know that this is, let's say we know that it's at least, at least in the realm of possibility. They've given us a look. We know it's in the realm of possibility. They might shade down, right? We're going to leave the wheel to the triangle receiver. So you see, this is what it looks like. Well, now they're playing hard flats on this left side, and I could pass lead that with an outside pass lead, and that's wide open now as well. So you really got them in a lot of ways with this concept. These wheel routes are so underrated, it gets crazy. Uh, one thing I haven't taught a ton, and I kind of regret it to be honest, um, is this route to, uh, another thing you can do, let's say you're getting worried about pressure, just block, you can motion your tight end to the right and block him. And then now you have, you know, basically this concept, which is, you know, very good. But I want to show you something about this wheel to the right. If you lowball this, you can click on and aggressive catch it. Okay, if it's manned up, you lowball and aggressive catch it, it's wide open. It's the same. The beauty of this wheel route to Godwin is it is the same seam wheel that you find in, um, like, the tight end routes and stuff like that. So if they're playing man-to-man, -man, you could go with the little... Uh, smoke screen wheel concept right here and you can kind of hit that okay now right there I wasn't able to hit it but but you can kind of utilize that as well because now you're hedging your bet if they're going with shaded down vertical hooks um, you know this is a great little concept and you know it's again even if they're you know let's say you're in cover two and they're shading down out of vertical hooks let's say they recloud on the outside there well now then now look what it, look where everything's open here underneath Right, we can still hit this over here.
okay? We can still hit, there's so many layers to this, right? Um, let me let me show you one last example. So this is shaded down vert hooks, and then we're gonna re-cloud. So they're gonna get like pretty strategic, right? They're gonna re-cloud on the outside. And what you'll see here is this running back route is still gonna get, if you pass that to the outside, in a position where you can kind of aggressive catch on the sideline, you also have a lot of stuff open on the left side as well. Okay, so this is just a video. I wanted to kind of give you some tools. It's primarily designed to beat the blitz, this play. It's primarily designed to beat the blitz, but it can pretty much beat every coverage in the game. Um, if you utilize an out route right here, uh, you're gonna find a lot of success. I'm just telling you right now, you're gonna find a lot of success. Um, you don't even have to put the post. You can actually just use this little spot route to uh, Gronk, and then you could do like a little underneath crosser. This is a great play right here, and there's just so much you could do with it. Um, you see how you just, he just kind of sits in the middle of the field for you, and then you have a drag coming underneath it, so your uh, user is gonna have enough to worry about with just that concept alone. And then this out route pulls all the zones out of the way, and you see how that curl route pulls all the zones inside, and it opens up this massive void where we can throw that ball. So, anyways, I won't keep you any longer. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn all this air raid stuff, you want to learn how to get better at the game, join the Patreon. If you're still watching, you probably like the video. So head on down to the description, sign up for the Patreon. It's only ten dollars. For only ten dollars a month, you get access to everything. Thanks for watching again. If you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description of the video. So just head on down to the description and uh, click that link. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.